Red Hat Enterprise Linux comes with a built-in host-based firewall built on IP tables. We will look at IP tables in a later video, but for now we are going to look at the system config firewall tool that we can use to configure our firewall. If you are new to the concepts of network firewalls, I recommend pausing here and doing some side research on the purpose and some basic examples of firewalls as this series assumes a medium amount of knowledge in this area. To use the firewall utility, go to System, Administration, Firewall. As you can see, we get a warning telling us that this tool is primarily for a basic firewall and that if we need more advanced firewall rules set up, that we will need to modify a file, the Etsy IP tables file, by hand. If we have modified this file manually, then opened up System Config Firewall, then all of our manual modifications would be overwritten. You should not need a complex firewall configuration for the RHCSA exam, but this is important for the RHCE exam. In any case, just keep in mind that this utility will overwrite any manual changes you make to your IP tables file. Alright, now on to using the application. The toolbar at the top provides a wizard button, which will guide you through setting up a very basic firewall for a desktop, the apply button, which is grayed out until you make a change to the firewall's configuration, the Reload button, which reloads all of the rules currently configured. The Enable button, which is grayed out if the firewall is currently enabled. Then finally, the Disable button, which disables the firewall. On the left, we have a list of various categories for common types of firewall rules. And in the right-hand pane, we can change our firewall configuration based on what category we have selected from the left. We will start with Trusted Services. This is where we configure the most common ports that we would use on a Rails system. Just look for the service name and check or uncheck the box next to it to open or close the appropriate port. Next we have the other ports. This is where you can add custom services that are not defined under trusted services. For instance, let's say that we had a VNC server running on port 5951. We would click the Add button, select User Defined, enter in our port of 5951, and enter in TCP for the protocol. Click the OK button, and now we have our new port opened. We don't have a service name here, since this port is not defined in the Etsy services file. The Etsy services file is the list of predefined services, along with their port numbers and protocols associated with them. Take a look at the Etsy services file at some point to familiarize yourself with it. Next, we have our trusted interfaces category. The next category is for IP masquerading. This is for a system configuration that is acting as a router and you wish to forward packets. As it stands right now, the RHCSA exam does not expect you to set up a real system to act as a router. The next category, port forwarding, ties into IP masquerading. Again, not necessary for the RHCSA exam. Next is the ICMP filter. By default, the firewall on a rel system will respond to ICMP requests from tools such as ping. We can put a check next to request types that we wish to reject here. And finally, we have custom rules. This is where you can create custom IP tables rules to be used in your firewall. There is also a terminal interface for the firewall utility known as System Config Firewall TUI. It is grouped into the same categories as the GUI tool, however just remember that anything modified with this utility will overwrite any manual changes you would have made to the Etsy sysconfig IP tables file.